Okay, let's think a bit about Ezekiel's mysterious figures in chapter 1. I first came across the Spaceman version of the story in the magazine called Analog Science Fact and Science Fiction. It was published in 61, but I saw it a bit later when I was a teenager, and at the time it was pretty convincing. Orton, the author, steps slowly through the story, taking care to read verse by verse and noticing details. Orton was a skilful reader, whatever his conclusions, and he fits the details of the story into his picture of spacemen and helicopter wings. I wasn't quite convinced, even back as a teenager. The helicopter picture didn't seem to me all that plausible. Couldn't imagine it working. I still can't. And when he ended up with the kind of Mekon thing on its flying platform, he lost me altogether. But a lot of the details were pretty convincing. So why do I now think he was up the pole? Well, I go back to Ezekiel's time, and I think of the sort of pictures that could have been in Ezekiel's mind as he wrote. I remember that all over the ancient Near East there were guardian lions, or guardian figures with lions' bodies and human heads, sometimes with wings, sometimes other creatures involved, all of them fearsome, and all of them guarding temples and palaces. And then I notice what these creatures in Ezekiel are doing, guarding God's presence. And I put two and two together, and I think I make four. It was these guardian creatures Ezekiel had in mind, and not American spacemen of the 1960s. Pity that, really. <laughs>